Okay, we'll discuss something on telecommunication. I'll be doing on analog to digital conversion, or digital to analog conversion, and digital to analog conversion. So, uh, if you want to see, we we have learned something on communication. We want to know what's an analog signal. If you look at uh, the booklet given to you, you'll find that analog signals are continuous, right? The voltage varies continuously. So what you need here is to know what is an analog signal first. Analog signal normally is your speech or music and they are audio frequency signals and they are called analog audio frequency signals which means the voltage varies continuously. So you will find that the voltage will be varying continuously in analog signal. Whereas a digital signal is something that involves taking samples of analog waveform which means digital signal contains binary numbers. Digital con symbol contains binary numbers and they are discrete. Okay, you can use the word discrete there for digital signals. Now, what you need here is you know how to know how to convert analog signals into digital signals. For that, you're given the waveform there. That's, that would be an analog signal, maybe a music or speech. So, what you do is you pick voltages at various you pick voltages at various time intervals let's say in this case it's 125 microseconds so you're going to pick the voltage you take the value of the voltage at various time intervals you take it at 0 you take it at 125 you take it at maybe 250 and few voltages there and then that's that's what you'll get you'll get 8 volts 12 volts 14 volts 12 and so on so you pick the voltage values of the analog waveform at various instants and you have the voltage values at every 125 microsecond. The process is called sampling, and the time taken for the sampling is 125 microseconds. Which means your frequency, which is called the sampling frequency, would be 100, 1 over 125 microseconds. That would be 8 kilohertz. So you'll we'll be using 8 kilohertz sampling for this case. Now, if it's 8 kilohertz sampling, you can use a higher frequency there. The higher frequency, that sampling time will be smaller, so you can get voltage values in between. So, let's say we pick the three voltages then. And you have 14 there. And let's just imagine, you have at 375 microseconds, the voltage value is 12.1 volts. If it's 12.1, what do you do with the decimal? If it's 12.1 volts, it is actually rounded off to uh, the lower digit. So you take it, take the only the whole number there. You don't want point 0.1 there. You take it to 12. So you'll be using whole numbers here because we are using 4 bits. I tell you what's the meaning of 4 bit there. So you'll have the voltage value as 12. And then for each value, you'll be taking the value of the voltage for each time interval. Your yeah, sampling frequency is again explaining it as 8 kilohertz. You can use 16 kilohertz, 32 kilohertz and so on. The better the sampling frequency, the more voltages you get. Now let's go back. So what you see here is the voltage is converted into binary numbers and binary numbers has got zeros and ones. A one would represent a high volt and a zero would represent a low voltage. So you can use 4 bits, that's why it is, it is being used in this booklet, but obviously in reality 8 or more bits would be used for any sampling. So if it's 4 bits, the highest number that you can get is 1111, which is 15, and the lowest value is 0, which means you'll have 16 digits there. So what you'll be doing here, is, as you can see, is the signal is sampled every hour. Sample means you pick voltages at those times. Our sampling frequency is 8 kilohertz. And you see that if the signal analog signal voltage is 14.3 volts, it will be sampled as 14 volts. If it's 3.8 volts, it will be sampled as 3 volts. Now what you have here is those voltage values. Let's say we take the first three values. 8 volts, 12 volts, and 14 volts. The three values. Those 8 volts, the first one is 8 volts. We're converting it into a binary number. So you can see the binary number there. So 8 is represented as 1000 in binary. I hope you remember how to do that. It's just continuously divide by 2. 
and then if you divide 4 by 2 you get 2, 2 divided by 2 you get 1, 1 divided by 2 you get 0 and then write down the remainders and that 1 divided by 2 the remainder is 1 and then your binary digit would be written writing the remainders where that would be the most significant bit and that's the least significant bit so it goes up so it's 1, 0, 0, 0 that's 8 now we want to check for the second one the second one let's say I forgot the value what was there before I want to convert this to uh, to the decimal so that's a binary number 1100 you can't read it as 1100 read it as 1100 uh, that would be 2 to the power 0 that's the place value is 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 so first value is 1 times 2 to the power 3 plus 1 times 2 to the power 2 third number is 0 times 2 to the power 1 plus 0 times 2 to the power 0 that would be 4 and that would be 8 so total is 12 now let's go back and see whether it was uh, yeah it was 12 so you convert the 12 into a binary number and this is what that is being transmitted and this are actually transmitted as pulses of electromagnetic waves so maybe light waves from the LED so you transmit a high high low high low and so on so you can transmit 1 0 0 and so on so what you see here is your analog signal that has been sampled and then it has been converted into a digital signal that's the process of ADC sample at various intents to pick the voltage values convert the voltage values into binary numbers the process of taking converting digital to analog this is what we get back you see the waveform initially we had a smooth one but when it reaches here it becomes somewhat <laughs> non-similar so what how would you recover say the first value is 8 volts and then those 8 volts till the next uh, change it would be 8 volts and then you see the values are discrete so from 8 it goes up to 125 it's 8 volts then it's 12 volts all the way and then try and do the question that I give you I think that would be 